friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 27th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, updated till noon and today on the 27th. We're looking at 171 angstroms here. Able to see our heliosphere. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming on the right hand side, we did have that plasma tornado spinning around and then the CME that ejected. Visible there on the right hand side. Pretty complex sunspot region ahead of all that activity. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. No major new space weather events to report. As we did give you a, a quick space weather update earlier today, showing and focusing on that large plasma tornado and CME that ejected from the top left region of our sun. Very visible here on the multi-spectrum. So two pretty active and complex sunspots that are Earth-facing now. We also have the coronal holes to talk about as well. We've got three. One of them is a very large one along the equator in an earth-facing position right now, and we are already starting to see the effects and the increased solar winds. As earlier on, we were about 400 kilometers per second, up around 500 now. Amazing images here. Grateful for another surviving day on the planet. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range. Only one C-class flare to talk about, and that happened late last night. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated today. KP3, having a look at the real-time solar wind, sitting at about 470 kilometers per second. And that has been steadily rising for the last three hours. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing that... CME blast taking off from the southwest or southeast region of our sun out towards Mercury yet again. Schumann resonance for today, power of six, but definitely charged up here over the last couple hours. Quick look at the telemetry there. Amplitude of six, quality of 6.8, and a power of five. Now let's get to earthquakes across the world. The USGS is only reporting about 170 earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with a 5.0 earthquake in Marquila, Mexico, followed by a 4.9. Fowlerton, Texas, seeing another 3.0 earlier today. 2.8 earthquake here in Catron, Missouri. And largest earthquake through California today was petroleum with a 3.4 as well oregon seeing a 3.2 overlooking alaska largest through the region being a 4.7 and that was reported late last night in between kamchatka and japan a lot of action here hokkaido japan region 5.0 26 kilometer depth as well kuril islands 5.2 philippines plate seeing some activity as well 4.5 there east of Taiwan. 5.2 earthquake here. Papua New Guinea, 10 kilometer depth, as well just recently a 4.1 there. Band to sea, 153 kilometer depth, deepest today. Fiji region, only one earthquake to report here. 4.5 at a 551 kilometer depth, and that was yesterday. 5.1 earthquake here. Owen fracture zone. As well, a 4.2 there, King Hai, China. 4.9 earthquake, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, really, uh, reported after last night's update. And then the largest earthquake past 24 hours, 5.4 South Sandwich Islands and Argentina with a 4.4, 170-kilometer depth, too quiet through South America. A lot of activity here, in Boca de Yuma, Dominican Republic, 4.6, 83-kilometer depth, and that has... The activity has been steadily increasing today. So heads up, Caribbean plate, Central America, 
seeing a lot of activity along the equator today. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A quick browse at the last seven days across the planet. Much love, and I appreciate y'all watching. Just always stay aware and prepared, and be ready for a large earthquake event or a possible natural disaster affecting you. Do our best here with daily events worldwide to forecast extreme weather and as well earthquakes. But still way too quiet through Central America and South America. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Fuego in Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Senge in Ecuador, Karinji, Indonesia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Tal of the Philippines, Ebeko in Russia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 54 that are active and across the planet and or erupting. No tropical systems to talk about through the Atlantic, nor the East Pacific right now. Pretty quiet. But Central Pacific, very large low there in the center of the ocean, heading westward. Tropical depression, Nalgae, is alive. And we'll be hitting the coastline of the Philippines tonight. Other than that, still looking at many flood alerts across the world. And a pretty extreme equatorial push of moisture here through the Atlantic. Looking at satellite imagery right up the east coast of North America. There's a lot of equatorial moisture going straight up and crashing into the northern polar vortex. Let's have a look at world weather here for the next few days. Low pressure system coming out of the southeastern United States. To give Ontario a brushing, but no major weather systems affecting Ontario the next few days. Colorado low, developing Thursday into Friday. And as well, a low pressure system heading through Canada this week. Cold temperatures moving in. Very big system here affecting British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, even parts of Northern California this week. Heads up, stay safe. They had strong winds there last night. And then watching in the long range forecast, first week in November, pretty strong system here, heading up into the Atlantic provinces and northeastern United States. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. No major systems affecting you this week. Heavy snows through Argentina, southern parts of Argentina. But then watch next week into the first week, could see some pretty big extreme weather pockets. Same thing with Africa. No major weather systems affecting you this week. But moisture will be dipping down as far south as Cape Town this week. And into the first week in November. Overlooking Europe. Pretty dry week ahead of you. Sunshiny days. All these systems seems to be staying off the coasts through the United Kingdom is about the only the only area that will be seeing moisture over the next little bit. Overlooking Southeast Asia, tropical storm Nalgae making landfall tonight, tomorrow, and into Sunday. Northern Philippines, Manila, Philippines, and then watching the long range could see a double tropical system affecting northern Philippines. Overlooking Australia. Still seeing a lot of moisture. Pretty strong low moving in Saturday to southern parts of Australia. Waves of moisture sweeping across eastern. And as well, a very strong line of storms along the coastline. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video.
Stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and thank you. Get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.